Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mindy here. I hope you've had a great week and you are ramping up for a phenomenal weekend. Today I'm really excited to talk about something brand new to my collection, and that is the newly released Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by the Kaoli brand. As soon as I heard Mona talk about this one, I was super curious. I had to buy a full bottle to understand what this fragrance was like and see how it compares to some of the other coconut centric fragrances that I have in my collection. Now I will say I really wanted to order a couple of the 10 ml bottles to use as a giveaway, but unfortunately they were not available on the website when I ordered this. So what I'd like to do instead is have a giveaway. I'll announce the rules at the end of this video and I will decant the fragrance and send it out to either one or two people who are interested in trying this one. So if that's something that interests you, please stay tuned to the end of the video and I will share the rules on moving forward with that giveaway. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this fragrance. So the first thing that I'll say is what really intrigued me about this one was a combination of white florals with that milky, creamy coconut and the bourbon vanilla that is in here. Bourbon vanilla happens to be one of my very favorite fragrance notes. I love a lot of fragrances that have that in their composition. So I certainly wanted to figure out how that played with the coconut in here as well as those white florals. So one thing I immediately noticed once I started playing with this and spraying it on my skin was that you can tell there is a strong oil concentration in this fragrance. After about 15-20 minutes of the dry down, you see that the oil formulation is there and that's consistent with what Mona was saying about this being an extrait formulation. Now that being said, I did find that this fragrance was quite soft and a little bit more subtle than some of the other extrait fragrances that I have in my collection. An example of that is the Kaoli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. That is also an extrait formulation. And from my perspective, I do find that that has quite a bit more projection and longevity than this vanilla cocoa fragrance. Now upon smelling this fragrance, what I immediately notice is Definitely you can pick up on the white floral aspect of this fragrance. The gardenia is there, the tuberose is there. I can pull those out very explicitly when I smell this fragrance. And I also get that creamy coconut that Mona was talking about. It's milky and it smells very pretty in this fragrance. I also get a little bit of the vanilla there in the background. And what I like about this fragrance is that there's really the right balance of sweetness in this one. Not too sweet, not sweet enough. It really is the nice balance of how I like sweet fragrances done. Now I'm not too sure if this is actually formally classified as a gourmand fragrance, but with the coconut milk, with the bourbon vanilla, I do feel a little bit of a gourmand vibe, which I do like in this fragrance. For me, if it was more centered around the white florals, kind of like Deja Vu white flower was, I'm not sure I would like it as much as I do like this fragrance in the composition. Now one thing I wanted to do in this video is to compare this fragrance to other fragrances that I consider to be somewhat similar, similar composition, somewhat of a similar note profile. And so with that, I wanted to compare my thoughts on The Beach by Bobbi Brown as compared to Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Now, this one does have a little bit of that subtle beachiness, and so that takes me back to when Mona was talking about the vacation scents and vibe from this fragrance. But when I think about a suntan oil type fragrance, the beach is very much more in that realm. So if for you that suntan oil, suntan lotion vibe tends to be a little bit too much, for example, if that were the case with this fragrance, I don't think that would bother you here. There's a lot more going on in here than just that beachy type vibe. So while I do think The Beach by Bobbi Brown has similar nuances to Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, I don't think in any way they're the same scent. I think they're very different. They're just is the slightest hint of that beachy vibe in Utopia. So I did try to avoid reading too many reviews on this fragrance just because I wanted to be able to develop my own thoughts and perspective on this one. 
but I did see that somebody referenced that this was similar to Deja Vu White Flower, just with the added coconut in it. And I do sort of agree. Deja Vu White Flower is a little bit more sharp to my nose. It has a little bit more of that white floral presence, whereas this one feels a little bit softer to me. It feels a little bit more well-rounded. I find this one to be a little bit more appealing, a little bit more pleasant to my nose than Deja Vu White Flower. Now I know that scent interpretation is personal and it's purely subjective, but I do have a preference of this one over a lot of the other white floral heavy fragrances like Deja Vu White Flower. Now another fragrance that came to mind when I was playing with this one is the Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. Now these two fragrances do not smell the same. They just have this similar nuance with the coconut that is in these fragrances. So both of them have this creamy feel to them, which I really enjoy in both of them. Whereas this one, the only one intense, goes a little bit deeper. There's cashmere woods and cedar in here, if I remember correctly. This is more of a deep, warm, rich, kind of addictive, creamy coconut. Whereas this one is a little bit brighter or a little bit less deep. I don't think it's a bright fragrance, so to speak, but the depth level of the creaminess of these two fragrances is a little bit different to me. If you do like the only one intense, I do think there is a chance that you might like this fragrance as well. If you like Deja Vu White Flower, I also think there's probably a chance that you will like this fragrance. Now another fragrance that I really wanted to compare this to is Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Now I do not have Soleil Blanc in my collection, but I do have an oil back when I was really, really obsessing about oil perfumery from Universal Perfume Oils. I did order the oil version of Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. I put it in a decant with some alcohol, perfumer's alcohol, and I have been playing with that over time. Now I do think this is the Eau de Soleil Blanc possibly because it's a little bit more citrusy. So these do not smell very similar to my nose. I know that some people compare the two and think that this is similar. I need to get my nose on the EDP Soleil Blanc to really do a fair comparison and I don't have that one. So that's one I'm really interested in digging into as well. Seeing as how it does get compared to Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. So in summary, what I wanted to share is that I do like this fragrance. I think it is a beautiful fragrance. I think a lot of people would truly enjoy this one. But from my perspective, I haven't quite figured out in the less than 24 hours I've had to play with this is if it would be one I reach for above some of the other coconut fragrances in my collection. Two that I've been enjoying recently is the La Via Belle Soleil Cristal by Lancome, as well as the La Nuit Tresor Nude. I really like this as a coconut fragrance also by Lancome. And I'm just not sure that I would be reaching for this one over these two because I do enjoy them so very much. Along those same lines, when I'm craving a suntan oil type fragrance, I do reach for Bobbi Brown The Beach or In the Sun by Bath & Body Works. I think they're great fragrances. This one has less of that beachiness. It does have a vacation vibe, as I mentioned before, but I do think when I'm craving that vacation vibe, I might reach for these over this fragrance. If you are a heavy white floral fan, I do think this is one you should get your nose on, especially if you like coconut to be weaved into your fragrances. I will say, while I've mentioned that this one tends to be a little bit more subtle to my nose, it might not perform as well as, say, for example, a Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. My husband did feel that this had a very strong presence. He was not crazy about this fragrance, which did disappoint me because a lot of times we have very similar tastes. For me, this is probably a 7 out of 10. Again, it's not an absolute love, but it is a like and a fragrance that I do enjoy so far. Okay guys, so I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do a giveaway for this fragrance and sadly I was not able to get my hands on the 10 milliliter bottles that Kaoli often has available. But what I will do is decant them into one or two decants, depending on how many people are wanting to participate in this giveaway. If it's over 20, I will be sending two of these out. I will decant the bottle into these. 
So this particular contest will be US only and I do apologize. I would love to be able to expand this to everybody who watches my channel. Thank you so much. But for this particular contest, I will be keeping it inside the US to make it a little bit more simplistic. So in order to qualify, please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite coconut fragrance is. If you don't like coconut fragrances, just let me know what your favorite white floral fragrance is. And please subscribe to my channel as well. And those are the two qualifications that I need outside of being in the US for this giveaway. As always, thank you for watching my channel. I truly appreciate you guys so very much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I hope that you have a lot to be grateful and thankful for. Until next time, I'll see you soon.